I'm curious. Um, you've covered a lot of different administrations and a lot of different personalities and organizations. What was your favorite White House to cover and why? And, and what makes a good, how, do, how does an office holder build uh, mutual respect and rapport, but also take on journalism that they don't think is, is accurate or fair? <laughs> Asking for a friend. <laughs> uh, there was only one White House. I mean, I've covered White Houses in the sense that I've been there and I've reported on them, but there was only one White House where I actually uh, was the White, the White House correspondent in, in the 80s. Uh, under Ro Ronald Reagan, I was the chief White House correspondent for NBC News. And that is by far still to today my favorite administration and I think the, the, the kind of model for an administration. Um, and and I'm, this is, I'm not talking about their policies and whether I like their policies or not. If you're the reporter covering a White House that to the degree possible you shouldn't factor in uh, you know, you're reporting on what they're doing. But they were, they had a vision and they had a plan to execute it and they succeeded in executing it. And, you know, one of the things that as a reporter you admire is competence in a, in a politician and, and their ability to, to, to achieve their goals and, and Reagan uh, and his team were really quite remarkable in that. I was fortunate enough to cover his uh, run for president in, in 1980 against Jimmy Carter. And it was the best campaign I ever covered. They had a plan each day for what the headline was going to be, and it was organized around, uh, uh, you know, having events at spots with backdrops to dramatize that, that story and make that point. He had a clear agenda. Again, I'm not saying whether I agreed with it or not, which was really irrelevant. I was reporting on it. But, you know, of, of shrinking the size of government, of uh, rolling back some of the regulation, of strengthening defense, uh, restoring um, America's position in the world. This was during the Iran hostage crisis and not that long after Vietnam when Americans kind of felt bad about themselves. Uh, and he went about achieving it. And, and so I guess what I'm really saying is that I admired the sheer professionalism of it. And, you know, you talk about um, dealing with the media. And, and you know, we're, our job isn't to be friends, and uh, it is an adversarial relationship, and not opponents, but uh, and not even critics, but, you know, they, they're trying to get their story out and we're trying to put their story in context and to the degree that there is, and I'm sure this doesn't go on with you in Lansing, Governor, but, uh, that, you know, that, a, that a, a governor or a president is trying to put the best face on something. Uh, <laughs> you know, it, it's our job to try to hold them to account. And, I, you know, I, I had plenty of run-ins with people in the Reagan administration. But it, there was a professionalism about it, and there was an understanding that we were doing our job, they were doing their job, that maybe they didn't like the story as I told it on Nightly News today, but that I, you know, that I didn't have any vested interest in either their success or their failure. I was just trying to report the facts. And, and I think they took it that way, and you know, to, the next day was another day, and they were gonna deal with us. So, so th they really, the Reagan administration really stood out for me. There have been a series of administrations that, that, that I have admired, but I, that was clearly on a variety of levels. Having a clear mission, uh, having a plan to execute it, succeeding in executing it, the professionalism of their relationships with the media and, and the Hill, uh, they, they were impressive. They, they were very impressive, no question about it. What was the least impressive administration? <laughs> 